Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the United States in Hearts of Iron 4. So, if you can't tell, I have, once again, adjusted the audio within the game. It should be much quieter than yesterday's. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if it's still not uh, mixed very well to your liking, please let me know again. I did get a little bit of feedback yesterday, so hopefully today is quite a bit better. That being said, it's 1940. Within the next year or so, we might be in a major conflict with what we will call the Axis. Not an Axis of Evil, but an Axis, regardless. It looks like the Allies are holding onto Africa okay-ish. I mean, obviously Italy has expanded up there, but let us continue. So, obviously, we have the option of joining this faction called the Allies, and as much as it would be interesting, I we've got we've got a pretty good amount of war support already. But, you know, they have a lot of ships, the British do. We don't exactly want to go to war. They got a lot of planes. They got looks like a plenty of enough convoys. Their manpower is a little lacking. And honestly, I need a lot more guns. And that's the reason why we're not going to go to war because we need more guns. No. Um Actually, you guys should probably be training. We have seven two divisions, but we will need some garrison brigades. More garrisons, actually. So go ahead and keep training, even though I know most of you guys are pretty good already. Even though some of you guys are still just average soldiers. Uh, let's see, we got a lot of naval XP. I don't think I'm really going to do very much with my ships at the moment. I don't really see the point of using my ships too much. I mean, some of them are repairing. And here's a little trick. If you don't want certain ships repairing in or ships repairing in a certain location, you can just block them off just by clicking control and left clicking. So control left click toggles repair state. That means if I click this, they cannot repair in Georgia, which will be very useful if needed. Uh, we've got plenty of repair stations anyways. And uh, well, we've got quite a few repair stations. What if I did this? Make that go down to two. Would that help anybody out? Nah, not really. Honestly, it really doesn't help too much. Since we are trying to upgrade some of these ships as well. So, we just got done with atomic research. Very good. Uh, let's get the encryption next, because that's, that's always good things to get. And, like before, we are trying to make a strike group here in the Atlantic. Which will be led by... Not this guy. Where are your ships? You are in Washington. You should honestly be in the Pacific over here. But we do have a couple of ships uh, guarding a good portion of our fleet in the Pacific with a heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, 14 destroyers, two battleships, which is kind of a lot in a single fleet. That's okay. And one heavy cruiser, one light cruiser, and seven destroyers. Where was that other fleet I was trying to make? It wasn't this group. It was it over here? You're docked in Washington, Florida. Oh, that's just, this will be a new subgroup we have. And over here in Virginia is the new Strike Force fleet. Oh, and we definitely want to make sure that you are upgraded all the way. That'll take a couple days. And we'll get more surface detection, more sub detection, a little more anti air, but a little bit less speed. That's worth it to me. So that's not too bad. And obviously, we need more dockyards so we can. Uh, upgrade these ships faster and faster and faster, which include these. These are the things that I need to get repaired, but we don't have enough dockyards really to repair them. You know what? Just go ahead and put you... Oh, God. Dang it. Up here. You'll be first to get some more dockyards. Decryption. Very nice. It's 1940. Uh, we got a lot of things to research, really. Better belt armor plates. Thickness of the armor. Well, I don't want to keep making outdated things, so, well, our naval doctrine, we can pretty much wait on that for quite a while, just because we will get some research bonuses to that. I would like to make better carriers, but we basically just started on those. Let's go with some submarines, mostly because we are producing some subs, and they're pretty cheap to make, so the impact they will have, if we make or develop them sooner, will be greater than us doing destroyers or anything like that. Is it war with Mexican states? Invasion preparation time, amphibious invasion speed, whatever. Hemisphere defense. Five more days. Five more days. Just keep an eye on the UK. Is there. Yeah, we can't do dom combat domestic isolationism. We 
we shall fight on the beaches. Well, the British aren't really doing very much about that. The Tizard mission. Ooh, Hemisphere Defense. And now it has no focus. Whatever. All right. Oh, we can't do Unholy Alliances. Not in faction. <clears throat> okay, then. Secure China is faction leader. Huh. Wartime industry. Which would be nice, but only 5% more factory outputs. Okay, it's not great. Uh, ace projects. More military factories actually would be really good. But is there anything else we can do? Intervention in Europe might be a good thing to do. Especially if we have to go with War Plan Black. That might be important. Destroyers. Oh, wait. Destroyer for bases. I didn't read this one. United Kingdom must approve of the agreement for the bonuses to take effect. I become owner of Bermuda, Newfoundland, Leeward Islands, Southern Bahamas, Jamaica, and Trinidad. That's that's very interesting. Uh, mobilization. Support Rock Island. Uh, from here on out, I can probably ignore most of this, except for fund the Navy, which we get more naval doctrines, which sound very beneficial. We still have a couple of days, though. Um, military factories. I really want more military factories. We'd get some more naval experience, which we don't need, more air experience, and army XP, which we could use more army XP, honestly. Uh, we don't need to fight against Canada. Hmm... Well, let's go with Intervention in Europe. I think that'd be good, just because we might get called into a war somewhat soon. Oh, Colombia accepts invitation to Treaty of Reciprocal Assistance, and Greece join the Allies. Okay. Together we shall defend our democracy. Costa Rica accepts. Ecuador, Honduras. The United Mexican States accepts invitation. Go screw yourself, Mexico. Panama. I think pretty much everyone accepts. Yeah, everyone pretty much accepted, which is fine with me. I don't think we're actually in a faction. Never mind. Okay, so that actually is a faction. I did not realize that was a faction. Oh, well. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry about that if you heard that way too loudly. Ooh. Joins the Treaty of Reciprocal Assistance. All right, well. Um, that's very interesting. I wanted to join the Allies, which we still might be able to. But at least I'm a faction leader already, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, Grumman, TBF, 1C, Avengers, so those are naval bomber carrier groups. Awesome, so we're pretty much done with our air wings for 1940. Pretty good. I do want to get more, or at least start producing some heavy fighters soon, but it's not extremely important at the moment. 1940, ooh. We have a bonus from the US USSR Economic Cooperation. For industry. For industry. That's correct. And let's get some more infantry bonuses. And then we'll focus more on naval stuff. Okay, how much ex army XP do we get every day? Not a lot. Really not a lot. I want to get five more army XP. So that I can get a little bit more... Put one more battalion within the garrison division that we currently have. So that... Uh... We can make it 10 width, 10 combat width, and start producing quite a few of them. So it looks like Yugoslavia, or no, that's Croatia, really is inserts themselves into Greece. Probably with the help of the Germans. We could get half track cars, which could help a little bit. Marines, we definitely will need Marines, but I really want to focus on some naval stuff here. Since we have naval XP, we might as well burn some of it and get some better armor. So we can start grinding out a little bit more naval XP. As I usually try to avoid the Navy. Oh, you guys are trying to repair, I believe. Alright, so we got one going. That's not bad. Got a lot of military factories. And... Oh, wow. Louisiana has 80% infrastructure. Oh, Bul Bulgaria was annexed. Okay, then. That's interesting. Yeah, that's pretty good. 90. Oh, yeah. California. Yeah, baby. Uh, let's see. Hawaii will probably be important as well. So that's pretty good. Important base, 30%. The infrastructure down here isn't really that bad. I could improve the Philippines so they like me a little bit more. We got a lot of factories. Not as much as I want, but it'll never be as much as I ever want. We've got a lot of guns now. Which is, well, I guess we did. Roosevelt versus Wilkie. So, since the office of the President of the United States was first established, no president has ruled for three consecutive terms. However, in light of the precarious state of the world and international developments in the last few years, 
uh, President Roosevelt has decided to break with tradition and run for a third term. Republican Wendell Wilkie, characterized as a dark horse candidate with a background as an industrialist with limited political experience, has been critical of both Roosevelt's economic interventionism and his justifications for running for a third term. Although the candidates have much in common in their foreign policies and Wilkie wants to retain some form of the New Deal, many consider this election a determining point for the future of American democracy. Well, we're not a democracy. Elections to the Congress, Democratic Party... <laughs> The Democratic Party will be now called the Republican Party. Remove the new, new Deal. Uh, let's see. That's honestly not bad. Momentum gained from the presidential election is likely to carry over to the congressional elections. Well, we're trying to be historical, so... We'll keep FDR in. And we'll have a good time with him. We need Oh, we need more guns just because it looks like we've deployed maybe a few more soldiers. Senator votes for government proposal. Well, all I can say... Is that we need a lot more house support. We need a ton more house support. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm still waiting for combat or Great Britain to do combat domestic isolationism. And we lost another 40 representatives. Oh god. <laughs> well, well now we have no more support of the house. Typical. Ooh, better radar. Love it. Here. Yeah, more naval stuff. Now we're gonna focus on holes. Really focus on the holes there. Uh, cruisers, let's get destroyed since we produce those very quickly as well. Come on, keep making those guys. We need those subs and ships out there as fast as possible. Refitting. Hmm, I don't believe any of our uh, subs really need any sort of upgrade, really. I mean, maybe one or two might, but overall, it's not too bad. We have 71 subs, and they're broken up very pretty well, in my opinion. Oh, the Tizard mission. The British government has sent us a scientific delegation led by Henry Tizard with an interesting proposal. The British are willing to pool their research efforts with ours in key, several key areas as they do not have the industrial capacity to produce their inventions in great enough numbers. An excellent proposal. Oh, we get bonuses to fighters and radar technology. More long-term cooperation. Huh. An excellent proposal. That's all. I'll do that one. We don't need long-term stuff since we already have the, the USSR helping us out, kind of. We should be fine, right? We totally should be fine. Nice, they're repairing. Very good. Light cruisers. Actually, you guys should probably... Where are you guys? You guys are in Washington. Just dock there. You're the reserve fleet. Well, I don't really exactly need a reserve fleet. I'm just going to merge you guys together. So you actually have quite a few light cruisers and destroyers here. You're in Florida because you're subs, and you're in Virginia because you're in Virginia. Actually, I want to get rid of some of these light cruisers. Get a new task force. Uh, one, two, three. And actually, I want to put you guys over here in Virginia so you can link up with the carrier group. Because that will be a strike force group, and we want that to be as strong as possible. All right, I'm going to keep another eye on the British, who are probably supporting the Greeks, but they just obviously capitulated. All right, well, they have fewer convoys, quite a few fewer ships, not a lot of divisions, oh boy. And manpower is okay. Now, it'll be interesting to see what the Reich does against the Soviets. If they push very hard, if they don't push very hard, I will have to react accordingly. Uh, let's see. Since we have more naval XP, we might as well do this. Very good. Oh, we have a lot of repairing things needing to go on. Are we... I don't think we're really repairing very much. Infinite, infinite, infinite. Since we're waiting to repair all these guys, we might as well just repair these guys first and then start building the super heavy... the heavy ship hull. Yeah. And that's a problem with having a lot of these guys doing naval XP stuff at the moment. It's because they need so many things to repair with. Oh, and but we got more than enough things to really work with here. Alright, so apparently I've maxed out my locations in the United States that could have factories. Wow. Well, Georgia, you're going to be the first one doing more military factories as we continue to do more dockyards. Like, I'm going to produce a ton of dockyards. All right, and we have... Can I go to... Darn it, not war economy yet. I have to be at war, and then any enemy country has 40% of the United States' total number of factories. Well, I don't know. I'm producing almost 400 factories now. That's a lot of frickin' factories. 
Mm, communism, anti-communist. Tank designer, uh, we might never ever get to destroy Detroit Arsenal, but maybe someday. Uh, electronics, I would like wartime industry, but we might never get there, so we might as well go with industrial research speed, because eventually I will get synthetic resources research speed as well. So, intervention in Europe. It looks like the Italians are very strong. Uh, the Greeks still have some islands right next to Turkey. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> very nice, very, very nice. Let's see, are our ships over here? Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of these. Yes. Merge these two guys together. You're in the Atlantic. This carrier group now has... Actually, I should rename this these to Strike Force. Atlantic Strike Force Fleet 1. Why do you always need more repairs? I thought we already did this. If the naval base where they are being refit is bombed, their production will be halted. Yeah, just go ahead and do that. Atlantic, Atlantic Strike Force Fleet. Strike Force Task Fleet. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. And you will need, ooh, Deep Oceans, Spotter, ooh, Hull, awesome. It's positioning, number of, ships, number of ships in the first contact, Naval Organization, Nimitz, you got the job. All right. And it's almost 1941, so I'm going to go ahead and start researching some more construction speed. Let's see, what are you doing? You are... You are divisions that I created because I want you really focused on the Pacific Theater. So now, we're going to put you under here. We're going to put this group... We'll call you... Uh, European Theater, because these guys will go to Europe. And then we'll call you guys the Pacific Theater. Just because I don't think I'll need nearly as many divisions in the Pacific as I will need for the uh, European Theater. Uh, actually, you need to do something here. Um, I mean, we're already all the way stretched out over here. You guys will probably need to invade several different island groups. So I'm going to put three of you guys at midway, just so that you're kind of, you know, in the Pacific, and put another three of you guys here in Wake Island. Oh, Hungarian bomber competition. The Hungarian Air Force is currently holding a new medium bomber. Oh, intervention in Europe. Well, let me see. Hungary, are you in the Axis? Well, we could do that, but we're not going to risk any leaks with fascists. That wouldn't be very cool. Uh, I'm going to use these guys as well. They're all going to be doing basically the same thing. Just kind of holding down islands. Even though I already have technically some garrison units doing that. But these guys, they'll be very useful for uh, helping hold the islands as well as being available to strike into enemy islands. Good, you're all split up. Oh, god dang it. I'm sorry I missed a day. Whatever, King Carol II abdicates. And War Plan Black because I want to get to Destroyer for bases. All right. We have, oh, more than enough army XP, garrison brigade. Get some of those guys in there and start training five or so of those. Cool. I'm going to put you just in LA. All right. Oh, oh, some of these guys are repairing in LA, apparently. They're detached, they're refitting. It's fine with me. I'm, oh, these guys are repairing and stuff like that. Okay. Anyone need repairs? No? Good. It is 1941, everyone. Happy 1941. Just don't die, UK. All right. All right, so they got still got the same number of ships. Convoys looking okay. Just, you know, we will fight on the beaches. I don't know. I don't know if the UK will or not. Maybe they'll give up. Maybe I'll need some more house support. Maybe I definitely will need some more house support. <clears throat> it oh. Italy, wow. Vichy France, wow. I guess since the Axis really has no one to really combat, uh, this is not looking good for the Allies. All or nothing armor scheme. All right. 1941, so let's go with let's go with over here to get more max factories in a state, because that's going to be important since we're all pretty much maxed out already. We're making a ton of dockyards because we really need more 
more, 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 more dockyards. Because we need a lot of repairs. Good. Uh, we're making sub holes in Florida. And then we'll start really repairing a lot of the stuff here. Hmm. Oh, you're over there. Battleships. Oh, we're trying to produce another carrier group over here. That's awesome. Wait, we already have four because they're trying to repair as well. That's right. Yeah. How about you guys? Do you guys need anything? Any repairs? Well, you kind of need repairs. I'm going to tell all of you guys to stop repairing, or stop training at least. Stop training. Senator from Mississippi offers support. They want new munitions factory, so a military factory there. And Mississippi, I think. Yeah. Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, I'm going to make a ton of ships. Holy crap. So if even if we don't do very well in some of these battles, we still have plenty of ships as backup. Just in case. Are you refitting? You're almost done. You're 81.6% done. That's awesome. Seriously. You... Is the UK going to do this? That, this is their finest hour speech any day now, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe have better radar. Because actually radar does help you spot enemy fleets better, which is actually very useful. So we did that. Let's get down here. Oh, whoops. Oh, there's a just battleship down there. Is, is that repairing? You can't do anything over here. Darn. Uh, that's okay. Are you repairing? Uh, yeah, they are repairing. It seems kind of weird to be all the way out there to do that, but, you know, whatever. But definitely have to keep an eye on Aid Britain. Are you repairing as... Oh, you're just kind of there. Okay, that's fine. You guys are kind of green. I do want to see you train. You guys can stop training as well. Oh, crap. Hold. Uh, is there a go home button? Repair, repair. I don't think I see a go home. Oh, representative criticizes the president. We lost 20 support. Ta open task force composition editor. Yeah, I don't see anything that says go home. Just everyone go ahead and repair if you can. Hold. Repair. You guys hold. I don't need nearly as much XP anymore. Repair if you can. Yes, it's going to cost a lot to repair these ships, but that's okay. That's, where, that's why we're playing the United States. Go home, or at least hold, repair. And we're pretty much going to do that for everyone. Oh, crap. That's shortcut is H, repair. Hold, repair. Hold, repair. Holding position, and going to repair. Oh, nice. And same thing for you. Hold and repair. <clears throat> awesome. Let's get some better assembly line production. And actually, can I... I know I shouldn't say this. But can I upgrade some of these ships now? Ooh, better land auction? Yeah. Totally better land auction. Uh, let's see. Converted battleship hull. Well, I can't really see very much about that. We definitely need some more repairing things. That'll be good. Yes, I did steal some from production and stuff. But that's alright. That is definitely okay. Destroyers. Sub-1936 holds. Holes. Yeah, I can't do very much about that. But 1936 stuff. Oh, they get some radar. That's actually really good. Oh! Even better torpedo tubes. Wow, 55 torpedo attack. That's a lot of attack. A better engine, which will increase our supply usage, but reduce our visibility. That's good. And we'll replace that immediately with this. And that's the only subgroup we're really making. Cool. Improved infantry equipment from 1941. Better radar. Sounds good. And is there anything else that we had to repair? Let's see. Upgrade. Hull destroyers. Depth charges. More better depth charges. Torpedo groups are still the same. Engine is still the same. I think pretty much everything else is still the same. Cool. Yeah, you're halfway down, but I don't really care. You make so many destroyers, it's not even funny. So, not worried about that at all. And yes, we are making a little bit... Well, we're not making any sort of 
XP in for our naval stuff, but we're pretty far ahead in terms of navy, naval doctrine and stuff like that. Let's see, you guys, dock force and ah. Yeah, I don't know why you're under this group. I don't want you to be under here. Yeah, I don't understand. I deploy you here. I don't want you to be part of this group. You can just be in the reserves. Reserve fleet. Yeah, good. You combined. So we got plenty of light cruisers, plenty of destroyers. We got war plan black, and now we're going to get destroyers for bases. Ooh, Defense of the Pacific. Actually, that would be really good to do as well. Romania finally joined the Axis. War plan gold. <clears throat> Destroyer for bases. Britain, you're still not doing very much. I, maybe I'm not doing this right. I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Let's see. You guys, if you can, go ahead and repair. If you guys can, you already are repairing. And you're pretty well leveled up. And, of course, this group are trying to refit a certain number of ships. Refitting, detached. Yep. That's a lot of things needed to repair. Alright then, so be it. It is 1941, so we can get better medium tanks. So that'll be good to do. We need more military units. A lot more, or at least, I mean, infantry equipment. 1940s destroyer hull. Cruiser hull would be good as well. Torpedo reveal chance. Uh, artillery. As much as I want to do that, we need to get better medium tanks. Because those are still a very high priority. There we go. Even though we kind of need a, a few more uh, factories to put in a single state. Yeah, I don't think that... Oh, defense and attack against country. Alright, war plan black. Yeah, I don't think the UK is really doing very much. They should have done com combat, or we shall fight on the beaches speech. Uh, emergency arms deliveries. This was their finest hour. I'm not sure if they're supposed to have done that already or not, but it really doesn't look like they are. Oh, gosh, we've got 41 soldiers here. 41 divisions, I mean. Actually, just select all the calf. New group. And yes, yes, we are not going to attack Mexico as much as we don't like them. Even though they technically are our ally at the moment. That is still okay. And I'll put him under William Simpson. Keeping an eye on you, just in case. Uh, how's the war going, UK? You doing alright? Destroyer focus. Special, they do have a special air service, and their ships are still doing fine, except it looks like they lost maybe about a little less than half of all their divisions. Okay, they, maybe they lost another one. That's not good. That's actually not good at all. Uh, I feel like we really might need to get into the war with them. Jesus Christ, Italy, you're doing way too well now. Vichy France is doing way too well as well. My gosh. Yeah, not bad. How are these garrisons coming along? They're coming along pretty nicely, honestly. Pretty good. We've got 150 of this stuff. Hmm. What do we have for Chief of Navy? Naval air attacks from carriers, targeting and agility, naval experience gained, convoy rating efficiency. Well, we don't really need to do too much convoy rating, so let's do with naval aviation. That'll be good. And how are our ship upgrades going? I think they're going okay, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like they're going okay. Oh yeah, I think we've got enough dockyards now that we'll be... F I think we'll be fine. Oh, good. A few more military units, eight more divisions will be put under the Pacific Theater. Uh, opposition suffers defeat in the Senate, so we got 10 more senators, even though I love democracy and I already have 100 Senate support. All senators love me, and if you don't, then you hate democracy, even though we're not a democracy. Guanzi clique has capitulated, alright then. Come on guys, are you... Hmm. Oh, nice, construction 4, faster construction speeds, uh, support companies would be nice, don't really need to do that yet. Land auction would be nice. Naval cruiser holds. Cruiser holds. So are you guys done repairing yet? Like, oh, well, one of them is done. We got a better carrier. And representative speaks passionately in support of the government. Awesome. And we honestly, oh, we need to get rid of some of these destroyers, these old destroyers. 
Way up. Let's make that new destroyer group. New destroyer, at least. Converted battleship hull A. Destroyers are down here. Oh, wait. Uh, I need this hull, because it's 1940. And we'll give them a light battery, too. Light anti-air, too. We'll give them some sonar. We'll give them some radar. Even though fire controls could have worked, actually, a little, maybe a little better. Plus 5% heavy attack and heavy attack. This will actually greatly reduce our sub detection, and that's what I really want these guys to focus on. Uh, pretty good light engine, and of course level two torpedo launchers, anti-submarine warfare. And actually, we'll do the same thing over here. Really good at trying to kill enemy subs. I'm honestly, I feel like I'm a little paranoid about the subs. And anti-air. Well, we already have one anti-air. It's not great. Torpedo attack is good enough, I think. Sub detection is very good, and our sub killing is fuel usage. Where is that? Depth charges. Depth charges. 33 is also very good. I think that's pretty good overall. Maybe we'll need some more anti air, though. It's, uh, it'll reduce our speed. Uh, how about rapid fire? Honestly, you're not using destroyers to kill other ships, so that looks pretty good. And we will go ahead and replace this with 1940s destroyer hull 1940s destroyer hull and I think that should be it awesome and we still have room for more things to build well mm, I'm not really sure subs submarines could be very good and you know what we're producing some subs to add to the Atlantic fleet why don't we produce some subs for the Pacific Fleet? I should have thought of that a little bit earlier, because that could be extremely good. Extremely good against Japanese convoys. Since odds are we will end up... Oh my god, Japan, how much of China are you eating? That's not, that's not good for your health. All this China is not good for you. Let's see. Yeah, we're still waiting for to build some more stuff up. Actually, you know what? Would it be a bad idea to build up maybe a little bit of the Philippines? And you know what? Let's get some coastal forts first of all. And these islands that we have. And yes, I will end the episode soon. Five. Definitely Hawaii. You never know, they might invade. Pathetic little islands. Cool. And then radar is, I think, pretty good. Should be pretty good. Three out of four. We're still under construction. Air bases will be very important as well. It is May 15th, 19... 41, and we'll end the episode very, very soon. As soon as I get all these air bases put in here. Nice. And you know what? We'll put some in the Philippines as well. We could probably use those and make sure that these guys. Oh, whoops. Have uh, some pretty good coastal forts as well. Last thing we'll do. So we've done destroyer for bases. And before we do anything else. So we have. We need to get approval to do that first. All right, what, so be it. Um, da, da, da. War plan orange actually would probably be pretty good. Defense of the Pacific sounds pretty good as well. As much as I want to do Army of the United States. Yeah, god dang it. Let's do that. Intervention in Asia. And let's see if the UK will send me something. Well, nothing down here again. God, uh, uh, this must be bugged or something. Shang-Chi has capitulated. Uh, oh, okay, so I did get Newfoundland. All right, so I did get these islands. That's that's pretty good then. So I can't complain about that, uh, even though I still can. But regardless, wait, what is this? Japan is justifying against us. Oh, no. What are they doing? Well, they're going to secure the Philippines, which is in my sphere of influence, even though this is not Victoria 2. Regardless, we're going to end it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we're preparing for... A massive war with over 400 factories now. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of factories, especially compared to Japan's 43. You know, next time something tells me we're going to be in a war, and that's why we've been producing quite a few more units. Not a bunch, but a few more. And, yeah, so next episode, we'll definitely be in a war. We're already in our faction. And I will see you tomorrow. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you, like I said, probably for the rest of this week as we... We'll get a first taste, probably, of naval combat. Thanks for watching.